Well, Mac Miller, finally, right? Finally. I've been wanting to get to this guy for a while. You know, Mac Miller and Earl Sweatshirt both, for whatever reason, over the last couple months, they've been like on the top of the list, on the top of the list, and just getting bumped for whatever reason. Don't know why. Not intentional. No reason behind it. That's just what it is. But I'm very excited to finally listen to this guy. Um, I don't know a whole lot about him. I know that he has died. I actually watched a video the other day. Somebody linked it to me in Discord about you know, how he died. It was um, detailing like the last 60 hours of his life or something like that. Basically drug overdose, got a bunch of, uh, what were they, counterfeit pills or the, you know, the wrong pills where he had a bunch of fentanyl instead of something else and that did him in and that sucks. I mean, understatement, right? It, but it, it immediately put into my mind the, the, the conversation around just drugs and drug use and you know, I, I'm pretty, I don't know what you would call that, liberal, libertarian, you know, definitely, I don't know, more of a personal choice kind of guy and the fact of, you know, I don't really want people to do drugs necessarily, but if they're going to choose to do drugs, as weird as it sounds, it would be nice for them to do it as safely as possible. And so an example with Mac Miller and just, you know, getting these pills and not knowing where they're coming from and, you know, what's what's in them and all that shit, that kills people. It kills people. And so if you have something else where drugs are legal and they're regulated and controlled and you can just go buy them and you know what they are, you know, I know people who are against drugs, you know, they probably think the whole thing's ridiculous, but you don't get these weird overdoses like that. Anyway... Anyway, you know, I was looking at the cover and he's, you know, he's obviously he's dead now. And so it's pretty easy to see this in my opinion, but it looks like he's in a grave. You know, glancing at you think, oh, he's like, I don't know, the, like the window thing. Maybe it looks like some sort of airplane window or, or something like that. Like he's looking out to the sky and he looks like he's sitting in a grave, which then makes me think about the phrase, you've got one foot in the grave, you know, somebody who's kind of on their way to dying either through whatever their life they're living or, or whatever, but his feet are barely sticking out and his feet are dirty. Like he's in the grave in this photo, in this cover. And I don't know, that's probably really obvious <laughs> or I'm just seeing it a certain way because I know he has died. I don't know. There you go my 20 second analysis on the cover for swimming. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, the poll. Why did I not do a poll? Okay, I've been talking forever about doing a poll for which, which album to hear first because that's been widely debated in the comments between swimming, between circles, between faces, between whatever, like there's all kinds of, everyone's like, no, you gotta start here, you gotta start here. So I, I ended up not doing the poll just because so many times when I got into a discussion about doing a poll on Mac Miller, everybody said, oh, well, you can't put swimming on the poll because it will win. Okay. <laughs> kind of feels like we're circumventing the outcome of a poll here. <laughs> and so with that being fairly common to see that, that, that mindset of the poll, you have to remove swimming and you have to put the everything else to see what would win because swimming always wins. And then just the fact that some other people were saying, you know, it's, it's easier if, if you kind of come in late, like if you listen to swimming or maybe even circles and then go back, it's easier to understand what's going on in a sense. I don't know how true that is, but that's, that's what people have said. So just said screw it, went with swimming. Um, sorry for bailing out on the poll for those of you who are excited about the poll, but there you go. And then in terms of Mac Miller, you know, the only thing I know is he's highly regarded, like he's up in the Kid Cudi territory in terms of the music that he made, the impact it had on people's lives, very powerful music. Um, so I look forward to it very much. Also, <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm pretty I'm kind of tired. Which is, I mean, that's, I'm not tired in the sense of, oh, I'm exhausted, but just not as much sleep as I normally get. I think because I woke up early, I was excited. <laughs> but something that does happen with me when I don't get as, as much sleep is I get emotional. <laughs> so this could just be like a big hot mess. I have no idea, but it very much could be. 
then again, you know, sometimes sometimes I surprise myself when the things are emotional and I become oddly detached. So I don't know where this is going to go, but there is your fair warning. Uh, if I just start blubbering like a fool and can't even speak, half of it is just because I got, you know, six hours of sleep instead of seven hours of sleep, which is what I try to get. I try to get my seven, seven and a half, something like that. Okay. Well, first time Mac Miller ever. First time ever hearing Mac Miller. Um, also, people have said after you do swimming, you got to listen to the NPR uh, Tiny Desk. I'll do that. I'll probably get my wife to listen to that too. Um Sometime this weekend, maybe. Let's get into it. This The album is called Swimming. It's about an hour long. The first track is called Come Back to Earth. Uh, it's produced by Mac Miller and John Bryan. I'm curious to see the production throughout, if it's consistently these two guys or if multiple people are coming in. On title for the artist, it doesn't show any features. So I don't know if that's also true. But let's jump in. First track. Come back to Earth, first time listen, Mac Miller, swimming, here we go. My regrets look just like texts I shouldn't send. Oh, that's already a great line. And I got that's neighbors already a great line. and more like strangers, we could be friends. I just need a way out of my head. Cool. I'll do anything for a way out. Very cool. Yeah, I'm already digging this. My head. Beautiful sound here. Beautiful sound. My regrets look just like text I shouldn't send. I'm just gonna let it play through. And I got neighbors and more like strangers. We could be friends. Very cool, patient opening kind of intro track here. Setting a nice tone. So we're kind of in this space. Curious to see where we go forward. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it before the transition here. Kind of a long, little spacey outro there too, huh? Which makes sense. I'll do anything for a way out of my head. I just need a way out. I'll do anything for a way out of my head. And then you, you kind of just float there, you know? Like, like maybe he's trying to get you into that mindset of, yeah, being stuck and, and trying to get out. <clears throat> Great opening line. My regrets look just like text I shouldn't send. <laughs> Doesn't mean he does send them, you know? You got neighbors that are strangers. We could be friends. Um, in my own way, this feels like living some alternate reality. And I was drowning, but now I'm swimming, which is the name of the album, through stressful waters to relief. Yeah, the things I do to spend a little time in hell. I like this line a lot. And what I won't tell you, I probably won't even tell myself. That's an interesting line. That's a really interesting line. Don't you know that sunshine don't feel right when you're inside all day? I wish it was nice out, but it looks like rain. Gray skies are drifting, not living forever. They told me it only gets better. So there's definitely a... a melancholy here that exists obviously I, I know that's very obvious but i'm not going to tear into this one too much pretty straightforward seems like we're setting the tone going going into the album so let's move on to track two which is called hurt feelings produced by j cole no shit all right cool all right come back to earth gets a little well I won't So on this portion here, he's saying, yeah, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, oh, okay. I'm always saying I won't change, but I ain't the same. Everything's different. I can't complain. Don't know what you're missing. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Yeah. Everything's strange. strange. That's just a game. Everybody tripping, going it away. We was getting lifted, now we getting paid. Shame on 
apostrophes, that means it's mine. Yeah. Keep to myself, taking my time. You don't know what you miss. Shame on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on you. Yeah. Everything is strange. strange. That's just a game. game. Everybody tripping, throwing it away. We was getting lifted, now we getting paid. Shame on yeah. you. Interesting, man. Interesting. It's so, it's so fun. It's so fun. Every time, well, not every time, I, almost every time, I come into a new artist. Hearing an artist for the first time, I always think, okay, is this going to be something new? You know, something I haven't heard before, especially with an artist. And I always have this idea in my head. I you know, and I can't describe it. I don't even really know. But there's always just this ethereal expectation based off of what people have said and and then when I drop into it, it's always different. It's always different from what I expected. And really, I think the the first thing that's standing out to me is I kind of expected the lyrics to be a little bit more um, straightforward. Not that these are not straightforward, but there's a little bit of um, a little bit of mystery here, a little bit of esoteric language in the sense of, I mean. Okay, okay. Finish finish a thought, Bob. Finish a thought. <laughs> I mean, he's saying stuff. And this is one of those examples, I think, so far where he's saying things and he's, you know, what he's saying is obviously you can understand all that other shit, but it is vague in the sense that you can take whatever he's saying and apply it to so many different people's lives. And so that's kind of the first thing I'm, I'm landing on is, okay, he's, He's not being extremely specific, which is great when you get emotional music like that, where somebody's expressing something, but it's kind of, it's done in a general sense because now so many people who are listening can take that feeling and apply it to whatever's going on in their life. And that's what makes it special, you know? So like just this, this opening chorus here, I'm always saying I won't change, but I ain't the same. You know, Mac is not being overly specific about what he is talking about here. But that line can apply to so many people in their lives, which is why he probably resonates with so many people. Everything is different. I can't complain. You don't know what you're missing. Shame on you. Shame on you. That's the part that's really interesting. You don't know what you're missing. Shame on you. And so the only thing I can think of here is maybe maybe he's talking about himself in the sense of, you know, with that opening track, a lot of melancholy, a lot of gray skies and rain, and I don't want sunshine and all that kind of stuff. Maybe he feels like, you know, you've got a lot of good things going on right now and you're, and you're missing it and you don't even realize you're missing it. Shame on you for missing what's happening right now. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's click the annotation to see what it is. Aiming this at his loved ones. Oh, and his ex. Okay, well, I don't. Sure. It could be. That's something like that with lyrics that are a little bit more general in this sense too. They can mean so many different things. Everything is strange. That's just a game. Everybody tripping, throwing it away. What's getting lifted? I don't know what getting lifted means. Getting high, his upbringing being cared for. Okay. Okay. So we were getting high. Now we're getting paid. Shame on you. I pay the cost to see apostrophes. Not commas, apostrophes. That means it's mine. Keep myself taking my time. Always into some bullshit, out of line, driving with my eyes closed, missing all the signs. That one I really, really like. That's a great line. That kind of puts a little, little point on the idea of somebody not enjoying, not realizing what's going on. And, and that can apply in a good way, like missing the good things, not really understanding what's happening around them, and also missing the signs, like the warning signs, like, hey, hey. You know, it's going to be impossible for me to listen to this album and go through lyrics without having the mindset of a guy who overdosed on drugs. You know, so uh, that that influence is definitely going to be here throughout this video. You're going to see that all the time. But, you know, this was later in his career. I think he I don't know when I don't remember when he died in relation to this album. But 2018, I think it was he probably died shortly after. So that means he was definitely into drugs when he was making this album. 
seems like there's a level of awareness here of I'm doing too many drugs. You know, I'm driving with my eyes closed, which is dangerous. I'm missing all the signs, which I don't, I don't think he's missing them. I think he's ignoring them. Maybe he's closing his eyes on purpose. Listening to Whitney and whipping it through the city. Is that Whitney Houston? Yeah, okay. Man on a mission. Figure it out. Putting way too much on my shoulders. But then he says, please hold me down. That's an interesting contrast. Usually when you put too much on your shoulders, you are being held down. But now he's saying, please hold me down. Hmm. I keep my head above water. Eyes getting bigger, so the world's getting smaller. Is that like a reference to eyes dilating, pupils dilating? Yeah. Okay. I'd be getting richer by that. Old me made me crazy. Mama said I was different even when I was a baby. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Interesting stuff already, but let's keep going. Let's drop into this bridge here is where we're at. I like I like the chill beat too, man. It's super chill. Super chill. This is fucking just so easy to listen to. I don't got the time to let it slide. Yep. I'm too grounded. Push whips that move mountains. New cribs, blue fountains. These are my surroundings. I'll be going through it. You just go around it. But it's really not that different when you think about it. I change, but I ain't the same. Everything's different. I can't complain. You know, initially I was saying, I was kind of uh, brushing aside the annotation about how the song's about his ex and all this other stuff. Getting into the second verse here makes it a little bit more specific. I don't know who some of these people are here. You know, he's high on jacuzzi, he's hitting the jets. Respect to Adonai. Oh, okay. Raised by a Jewish mother and Christian father. And utilizes the teachings from each. Oh, Adonai is the Hebrew word for, Hebrew word for God. Okay. Okay. Don't fuck around and be a victim of your pride. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So respect to God. Don't fuck around to be a victim of your pride. That's interesting. Because what does pride do? Pride kind of blinds you to some truths. Pride makes you think you... Now let's, again, I, I said this earlier, a lot of my perspective is going to be coming from somebody who's on a lot of drugs maybe too much drugs, maybe they're kind of aware of this, they're driving with their eyes closed, they're missing the warning signs, they're doing something that's dangerous. Pride lets you ignore that, right? Pride lets you say, no, I got it, I'm good, I'm good, no, I got it, I'm good. Don't fuck around and be a victim of your pride. And what ended up happening? Now, you know, the, the overdose, <clears throat> I'm sure it's pretty easy to argue to say, on one side, you know, it's not Max Miller, Mac Miller's fault, right? Because it was, there were fentanyl pills and he didn't realize that. Of course, the other side will say, well, <laughs> if he was not doing drugs, he would have never overdosed. Not, not trying to get tangled up in that, okay? But if your pride is telling you, no, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're just going to keep doing what you're doing, which can then lead to dangerous consequences, unfortunately. Tell the truth, just step aside. I don't got the time to let it slide. And see, this is where I thought Audine was first, but with God, I'm too grounded. Push whips that move mountains, new cribs, move fountains. These, these are my new surroundings. I've been going through it. You just going around it. I don't know who, who he's talking to here. I don't know. But it's really not that different when you think about it. I don't got the time to let it slide. This annotation is unreviewed. <laughs> Tell the truth. Just step aside. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? He says that twice. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Don't fuck around and be a victim of, the, of your pride. Why are you lying? And what does pride let you do? It lets you lie to yourself. So it seems there's, there's some awareness here. There's definitely some awareness. Self-awareness. 
I'm too grounded. Push whips that move mountains. New cribs, blue fountains. These are my surroundings. I've been going through it. You just go around it. It's almost like he's talking to himself here. But it's really not that. Well, eh, no, he's not talking to himself here. I'm always saying I won't change, but I ain't the same. Everything is different. I can't complain. You don't know what you're missing. Shame on you. I won't change, but I ain't the same. Everything is different. Hmm. This is a really interesting song. I feel like there's some, some deeper, deeper layers that you can get into, but it's only the second track. So I don't want to, I don't want to tear this apart too quickly because, or get too deep into it because I, I'm really basing it off of my own, like, you know, biases and my own preconceptions coming into the album. So let's move into track three, which is called What's the Use? Produced by Pomo. Don't know who that is. Okay, track three, Pomo. Or, ha! Track three is what's the use. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. You wanna, if you wanna capture my ear immediately, fucking throw a bass line in. Either a bass line or a heavy bass beat. I'm, I'm all into it. You can love it, you can leave it. They say nothing but doubt it. Don't let them get you down. What if I don't need it? There's something about it. Can I mind my business? Why you tripping? Give you something yeah. that your eyes can witness. No, that's Ooh, great. Too close. <laughs> that's great. I don't understand why you're doing the most. Oh, and Snoop's gonna be here. Nice. <laughs> great beat. I'm already. Yeah, this this one gets a heart. This is great. This is a great beat. What's the use? Okay, let's let's see. Let's see if we get more uh, insight here. You can love it. You can leave it. Then say you're nothing without it. Don't let them keep you down. What if I don't need it? There's something about it that just freaks me out. I just want another minute with it. Fuck a little. What's the use? Never superficial. You're going to know it when it hits you. Get a little sentimental when I'm off the juice. The first thing that comes to mind in that section right there is it's almost like he's afraid of the clarity that comes with sobriety. I get a little sentimental when I'm off the juice. And it, I don't know why, but I just, I get this sensation of discomfort with that idea. Like Mac is uncomfortable with being off the juice as if there's something that happens when he's not there. It makes me wonder, you know, I don't, hmm, I don't know anything about the guy, but the first thing I said, think about is his childhood. What if I don't need it? There's something about it that just freaks me out. I just want another myth, minute with it. Fuck a little. What's the use? Never super. Okay. Let's move into the verse here. You know, I really, what's cool is Mac Miller is technically a rapper, but his, his flow is very chill and it, it perfectly matches the beat. What's going on. You know, these are all just chill, chill jams. Totally into that. And it reminds me of the debate that people always have in rock and metal, like who's the best drummer and blah, blah, blah. But the best drummer doesn't necessarily mean, you know, the fastest or the one who could thrash around the most or the most complex, or whatever, because it's all about the song. You got to support the song. And in this sense, I mean, obviously there's a beat and all this other stuff, but Mac Miller feels like his flow is really supporting the beat. Like they're meshing really well. If he was going faster or a little bit more harsher tone in his voice, it obviously wouldn't work well. So. I'm liking the sound overall a lot on this track. We're colder than the breeze, but the breeze ain't flowing like me. Hold up. You don't need to hold up. Interesting turn right there. And I can show you how I see and what it is, what it truly might be. Nothing that you know of. You don't need to hold up. I'm so above and beyond. You take drugs to make it up. <laughs> Way up, especially over on Elon. We don't waste much time. Fuck when we wake up and I have her sing like Celine Dion. Catch me if you can, but you'll never catch me. Whole lot of yes I am. All the way in with no exit. All the way in with no exit plan. That line was something that jumped out at me. Already left in the jet don't land. Those are two concerning lines right there. 
all the way in with no exit plan, already left, and the jet don't land. Like he's gone. I'm, it's already. I'm already gone. I'm too far. I'm too far gone. I'm too far in. I'm not coming back. It's. I'm. I'm off the cliff. Whatever you know. Whatever <laughs> analogy, metaphor you want to use. The time is ticking. Come take a ride. Get inside. This is highly different. I'm talking fly. Got a pilot with them. Can I mind my business? Why you trip and give you something? Take your eyes. Oh, give you something that your eyes can witness. Oh, you're too close. I don't understand why you're doing the most. All right, let's listen to the chorus because all I want to do is just imply drug use, drug use, drug use, drug use. So I got to I gotta try and get out of that mindset if I can. I mean, not to say that it's inaccurate or not fitting for what's going on, but I can feel that that mindset is just <laughs> taking over my whole thought process. So let's go into the chorus with Snoop Dogg here. God, the beat is so good. <laughs> so good. I feel like this is something that should exist in the Vice City soundtrack for like Grand Theft Auto. Still they throwing dirt on my name, but it never worried my brain. Heads turning like a hurricane, swerving till the sun get up out of my shade. They don't get the picture, cut them out of that frame. Shit, I'm up 30,000 miles plus change. It's been a while, but I'm down till I'm out, and it is what it is till it ain't. Oh, Thundercat, nice. <laughs> I gotta listen to Drunk. Oh, I gotta listen to Drunk. Those keyboards, man, they're just back there kind of fucking around a little bit, and it's great. <laughs> it's great. Like, you can tell the keyboard players enjoying themselves right now. They're you know, having fun making the song. That's a good song. I really like that one quite a bit. Um, yeah, the lyrics more or less repeat. After that first section, I really like this. Heads turning like a hurricane swerving. That was really good. I'm going to give you what you came for. I've worked too hard to have a clue who you are. Cool little line right there. Set the bar so far above par. We can parlay all day. Crib long range with the yard. I liked he picked up his flow a little bit there. A little bit faster. And that was kind of neat because I haven't, you know, I haven't really heard him rap until right here. You know, the first verse was, uh, was there. It was good. A little bit faster. So it's kind of here on... It was cool to hear him go off a little bit. I know I should probably pray more, but you got to love me. I know I should probably pray more, but you got to love me. I mean, I, that is extremely intriguing. I don't know what his religious beliefs are, and I really want to like, just tear that open and go into it. But I'm just going to leave that be for now because that's a really interesting line. Really interesting. I know I should probably pray more, but you got to love me. Who? You? You as in the fans? As in God? Does God have to love him? Is this another example of pride? His pride coming in? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Anyway, because I saved the day, spend money. When I had nothing, shit, it wasn't so funny. Made a promise to the homies, never, go, nobody goes hungry. I like that a lot. Look how far we came. Still, they throw dirt on my name, but it never worried my brain. I like that. Heads turning like hurricanes swerve and tell the sun, get up out of my shade. If they don't get the picture, cut them out of that frame. Love that line. Love that line. Fucking A. If they don't get it, forget it. Just just let it go. Let them go. Get them, cut them out of the frame. Just don't keep them in your picture, you know? I'm up 30,000 miles plus change. It's been a while, but I'm down till I'm out. I like that one a lot too. And that's a great little playoff of, you know, being, you know, he's sky high because he's doing so well, but he's still down till he's out. You know, like, I like that a lot, especially when you get back into those previous lines about promise my homies, nobody's going to go hungry. And it is what it is till it ain't. Fucking A, man. This is a cool, really cool song. Really cool song. You can love it. You can leave it. They say you're nothing without it. Don't let them keep you down. What if I don't need it? There's something about it that just freaks me out. 
I just want another minute with it. Fuck a little. What's the use? What's the use? Never superficial. You're going to know it when it hits you. Get a little sentimental when I'm off the juice. Fuck, man. That part. You're going to know it when it hits you. If, ah, some of these things, they just... And again, coming from a very specific mindset and having no he overdosed on drugs. But some of these lines just feel like little warning signs. Just little warning signs. Okay, let's move on. Cool song. Really liked that one. Track four is called Perfecto, produced by T. Watt. And there we go. Track four, Perfecto. The sound, the sound on this album is already just so phenomenal. I, this is just such a cool. It's nice to have something I can have that's gonna be mellow. Um, yeah as hard as it gets cool comma collected holding my breath this ain't what i expected don't argue to death pull my heart out my chest the card is all on the table and i'm calling it well it ain't perfect but i don't mind because it's worth it is it is it is it is it who really has the time at all i'm treading water i swear that if i drown i don't care they're calling me from the shore i need more it just screams off the deep end with drug use and i, I let's see how can i phrase it so it doesn't sound so uh boomer <laughs> right like you know what it reminds me of there's a track by guns and roses called coma it's the last track off of use your illusion one and it's it's a it's a really neat song i really i like that one quite a bit i don't listen to it all the time every now and then i put it on and it's just a great song it's very long and it's about you know him being in a coma and all this other shit and just kind of kind of reflecting on life and, and all this other stuff but there's a line in there about they're calling, they're calling, and uh, he's so far out. You know, what was the other track? I don't know if it was what the use or hurt feelings. He was talking about the, you know, the jet's already taken off. He's already gone. Like, all right, let's get into the verse. I'm, I'll, I'm, my, my brain is just going nuts, and so I got to focus on one thing and, and do one thing. Okay, as hard as it gets, cool, calm, and collected, holding my breath. This ain't what I expected. Don't argue to death. Pull my heart out of my chest. The cards is on the table. I'm calling it. Don't say it. I swallow it. When living off borrowed time, often I'm on the fence on a line, adding up what's on my mind. My feet on the clouds, head on the ground. That we're going down. Bet you know me now. You know, feet in the clouds, head on the ground. That means completely upside down, right? Completely upside down. And don't say it, I swallow it, meaning he's not going to tell anybody how he's feeling about this. He feels like he's living off of borrowed time. I, I, I'm really, really interested right now to hear what people thought of this album. If they felt like it was a cry for help from Mac Miller, man, like I just, you know, I, I try to I try and be an open minded as possible when I come into stuff, but I'm so I'm I can't help but fixate on on everything that's going on and relating it to him overdosing and drug use and all this other stuff. <clears throat> it ain't perfect, but I don't mind because it's worth it. Who really has the time at all? You know, which is interesting. The opening chorus doesn't have those questions in there. The is it is it is it is it that gets added in in the second chorus. But I'm really bugging, making something out of nothing. And so there's still this side of him that's playing it off. Like, no, 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 no. Like, is this the pride? The pride that lets him lie to himself. No, 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 you're fine. You got this. You're fine. You're just bugging. You're making something out of nothing. But there is a side of him that just... I feel like there's a side of him that's scared. 
There's a side of him that knows I can't just keep doing this. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep doing all these damn drugs, even though he's not specifically saying drugs. At this point in his life, and I, I fuck, I think he died shortly after this, man. I, God, it just feels so obvious. Don't argue to death. Pull my heart out of my chest. The card's on the table. I'm calling it. I don't say it. I swallow it. Hmm. I like the, the line, feet on the clouds, head on the ground. Because to me, it just pictures him completely upside down. Completely upside down. I'm treading water. I swear that if I drown, I don't care. They're calling me from the shore, but I need more. All right, let's keep going. Let's drop into the site. Let me back up a little bit because it did drop into the verse when I was, uh, st when I stopped. On the surface, I look so fine. On the surface, I look so fine. Really, I'm bugging. Fuck, yeah. Yeah. Like the weekend on a Tuesday, I could move dates. I got something else to do, they always do. Hey, if I do say, the do say with the homies, like it's Kool Aid. Bugging, bugging, making something out of nothing. Interesting yeah. turn here. Tell me you love me, spin me around. Pretty please pick me up in the air and don't put me down. Seen it all unfold, sat back and watched. No one time, don't give a fuck about clocks until they stop. Trippy, trippy outro. I'm just gonna apologize now. I, I'll stop. I'll stop saying how I don't want to focus on drug use. I'm just gonna apologize now and say that's the vein I'm gonna be in, and you guys will understand that. You know, I, if I beat this to death, I, I apologize. <laughs> The first thing I thought of here on this outro, yeah, you tell me you love me, spin me around, pretty please, pick me up in the air and don't put me down. What's that remind you of? A child, right? A child that wants to be spun around and, you know, yay, you know, pick me up, don't, don't let me down. And then it, then it turns into seen it all unfold, sat back and watched, knowing time, don't give a fuck about clocks until they stop. Bare feet, running late, her car started, even though the only thing that she's driving is a hard bargain. And I like that there's no annotation there because that's hard to make out. <laughs> like nobody knows what the hell he's talking about here. That first bit though, reminds me of a child. So then how do you relate that to the rest of it? Does he miss being a child? Does he miss those young days where, you know, because when you're a child, you tend to be happier. There tends to be some innocence there. Not necessarily with all kids, unfortunately, but you know that's that's the general idea that gets put and associated with children. You know, innocence, happiness, that kind of thing. But then he sits back and he watches it all unfold, knowing time doesn't give a fuck about clops until they stop. And that line right there. Well, I, I sometimes too. It seems like I'm going to say something and then I don't and it seems like I'm holding back. But really what's happening is I I have this sensation more than an actual thought and I, I can't get it to coalesce into something that I can articulate into words that make sense. You know, I can't even capture the own feeling I'm experiencing. I can't quite put it into words. Sometimes if I talk through it, I can do that. So like knowing time, don't give a fuck about clocks until they stop. It's like people don't care about you until you die. That's the first inclination I get from that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's what he means, which is why I don't necessarily want to say that is what that is, because I don't know. Because then you get into this next part, bare feet running late. Her car started, even though the only thing she's driving is a hard bargain. More important is I'm kind of sort of out the door, but she put me back together when I'm out of order. That seems like drugs. That seems like a reliance on drugs, especially when you link, think back to, uh, you know, I get a little sentimental when I'm off the juice and uh, some of the other lines that he's shared so far. And that final line, perfect. <laughs> now, if we, if we say that she puts me back together when I'm out of order, if that's drugs, and then we back up a little bit, Barefoot, running late, her car started, even though the only thing she's driving is a hard bargain. How does that relate? I don't know. It's challenging. Esoteric, like I was saying earlier. Esoteric means it's not clear, you know? 
but I'm really bugging, bugging, making something out of nothing. Oh my God, this is incredibly interesting. Okay, let's move on to track five, which is called Self Care, produced by mm, ID Labs. <laughs> DJ Dahi, oh, that name is familiar. DJ Dahi is familiar. I'm failing on where I've seen that before, but that name's familiar. And this other name, I'm not going to try and pronounce because I'll get it wrong. <laughs> it is funny how often I screw up uh, producer names. Uh, okay, track five, self-care. I did enjoy Perfecto. JID is on this yeah. cool. Well, climbing over that wall. Yeah. I remember, yes, I remember, yes, I remember it all. Swear the hype be too tall. So like September, I fall. Down below, now I know that the medicine be on call. Super cool sound. I mean, I'm really enjoying the sound of this album. So it's so chill. It's so chill. It really is neat. How much more? Oh, shit. There's still a lot left. Oh, God. I'm almost an hour in. <laughs> Tell them they can take that bullshit elsewhere. Self-care. I'm treating me right. Hell, hell yeah. We're going to be all right. <clears throat> So the first thing I think of here is I'm, I'm starting to get a feel for I'm just going to call like multiple Mac Millers and I'm not saying that he has dual personalities or anything like that. I'm just saying that there's within within the Mac Miller mind, there are a couple Mac Millers that exist and one of them is one that he's touched on already, the pride, the lying to yourself, lying to yourself. And I feel like maybe this is that guy right now. It's self-care. I'm treating me right. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. The question I continually have, though, is he's, he's self-caring for himself. You know, he <laughs> self-caring for yourself. <clears throat> but why? Why? What's what's driving this? That's that's the question that to me right now is completely unanswered. And, you know, sometimes people maybe they maybe they have uh, you know some mental disorders or you know there's been trauma in their past or sometimes they're just depressed you know there's a lot of different reasons that can drive this need to escape pain for for whatever it is you know but it'd be nice to know what is driving his you know what's what's going on what what is happening that he is in this state cuz i just don't i don't know anything about the guy at all at all uh let's touch on the chorus here so i switched times i switched the time zone but what do i know spend a night's hitchhiking where will i go i could fly home with my eyes closed but it get kind of hard to see that's no surprise though trippy lines man the only the only thing i pull from that is you know he is you know, I, as far as I understand, he was pretty pretty famous, pretty popular at the time. And so maybe he's just, as he's going from show to show, and he's high and, and they're flying from city to city to do the next show. He doesn't even know where he is. You know, he doesn't know if he's, if he's switched time zones or not. Maybe that's a little too literal. That might not be the case. Spend a night's hitchhiking. Where will I go? I can fly home with my eyes closed. Hard to see. I don't move my feet when I be gliding. I just slide in and then roll out. Climb it over the wall. Remember climbing over the wall is too high like September I fall. Now I know that the medicine be on call. When it's feeling like you hot enough to melt, can't trust no one, can't even trust yourself. And I love you. I don't love nobody else. The medicine's on call. 
I feel like I'm hot enough to melt. I can't trust no one. I can't even trust myself. I love you. It seems to be a reliance on drugs. <laughs> the, whole, the whole video is just going to be me saying that over and over and over again. Tell them they can take that bullshit elsewhere. Self-care. So what's that bullshit that they can take elsewhere? People telling them, hey, you need to chill out with all this shit. You're, like, You're doing it too much. Take that bullshit elsewhere. Maybe. I'm on self-care. I'm treating me right. We're going to be all right. Hmm. All right, let's drop into the interlude here. Then on the road, I don't see it. Out on the road, I don't see where I'm going. So is that on tour? He's on the road. But when he's on the road, he's just constantly on drugs. He doesn't even yeah. know where he's going. I've been losing my, I've been losing my, I've been losing my mind. Yeah. Get the fuck out the way. Okay. Must be this how to play. Okay. It must be nice up above the lights and what a lovely life that I made. Yeah. And you can find me. I'm going to pause it before the oblivion drop, although it sounds like I just clipped the drop right there. <laughs> I have a skill for that. Is there a good drop coming? I'm going to pause right there. I always manage to ma nail that. You know, there's something that's, I feel like, I feel like with this chorus here, you know, I'm sorry, the second verse. I've been reading them signs. I really like this part. I've been losing, I've been losing, I've been losing my mind. I liked that a lot. Get the fuck out of the way. Must be this high to play. It must be nice up above the lights. And what a lovely life that I made. I feel like just in that section right there, it's him saying, I, I hate this. I don't, I don't want to be in front of all these crowds, all the lights, all the people. You know, what a lovely life that I made. It's like he doesn't want to be famous. He doesn't want to be on tour. He doesn't want to do shows. He has to be high to play. He can't handle it for whatever reason. Doesn't want to do it. That's the impression I get. I have no idea if that's right or not, but. Self-care, we're going to be good. Hell yeah, they're letting me go. They're letting me, hell yeah. Not even just, they're letting me go and you know, any kind of thought process around that excitement. Hell yeah. They're letting me go. That's an interesting line. Hmm. And then there was something else that he said. Oh yeah. He, this was in the first course too, but I skipped over it on my last pause. You could find me. I ain't hiding. You could find me. I'm not hiding. <clears throat> and so this is interesting because He's, he's talking about how, you know, you can take that bullshit elsewhere. This is self-care. You know, I'm taking care of myself. But then he also says, you could find me. You know, for those of you who are trying to, like someone's trying to find him. Someone's trying to get to him. I'm not hiding. That's really interesting also. Following the announcement that Mac and uh, Ariana had broken up. And his DUI arrest in May of 2018, Max seemed to disappear from the public eye briefly, including deleting all the pictures that were on his Instagram account. Mac recognizes that he seems to have shut himself off whilst he tries to address his problems and reminds him that he's still around despite his struggle. I completely disagree with that. I completely disagree with that. <clears throat> I mean, sure, that could relate to that, but I don't think that he's talking about fucking, oh, I deleted my pictures and now you can't find me. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's talking about th this. This is a hard thing for me to get into right here just because it's a personality style that I don't have. And I've, I'm obviously making a lot of assumptions here. So just kind of hear me out in terms of my thought process. I'm not trying to say this is what Mac is, but this is where I'm just kind of the impression I'm getting is sometimes people want to be chased a little bit, you know, <clears throat> Sometimes people want to play hard to get. They like that. They want to see, okay, how much How much do you want me? How much do you want? Whatever the situation. You hear that term a lot in dating and stuff like that. But sometimes it's, it's real with just people too. Like people for whatever reason have this need to see other people 
prove that, no, 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 I really want to either help you, I really want to be with you, I really want to do it. And so they'll create these obstacles, they'll create these barriers, they'll create these things to make people climb over. You know, well, I was going to say, maybe that's what he's talking about with the wall, but I don't think so. I think that wall that he's talking about, we fell like September, there's something different. And so he's saying, I ain't hiding, I'm right here. But not hiding is not the same as not playing hard to get. You can see something that's clearly not hiding that is difficult to get to, you know. Those are two different things. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's drop into oblivion. Let me back it up a little bit. We'll, we'll catch that transition. Yeah, I'm glad I backed it up. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't know, I didn't know. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what I was missing. Now I see a little different. I was taking too much. Got stuck in oblivion, yeah, yeah. You keep on saying you went love, so tell me all you really do. Know you really do, yeah. Let's go back to my crib and play some 45. It's safe and yeah, I know there's still a war outside. We spend our nights all liquored up on morning sun. Can you feel it now? Oblivion, yeah, yeah. I love this chorus. This is beautiful. You know that that part, oblivion, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I've heard that before. And you know, I said I love this chorus. What I meant to say was I love this this section, this back half, this oblivion portion. And I, but I feel like I've heard that before. I don't think I've I don't think I've heard this song before. But maybe I don't know. Maybe I just heard that chorus before uh, anyway okay <clears throat> so <laughs> i was talking about you know the, the, the concept of playing hard to get uh before i want to there was something he said here you keep saying you're in love so tell me are you really down are you really down that that right there kind of reinforces my idea about what what pairs with this other line up here of I ain't hiding, you know, I'm I'm just right here. You could find me, I ain't hiding. You could find me, I ain't hiding. You keep telling me you're in love. Are you really down? Are you really down? Like there seems to be this element of prove it. Come get me. Come get me. Prove it. You say you love me, you say you care, then you know, and think about, too, the album is called Swimming. At one point, ooh, I don't remember which track it was now, but he talks about, you know, they're on the shore calling for him and he just wants more. He's out, you know, he's out swimming. Think about somebody who doesn't care if they're drowning or if they're struggling. And you're on the outside. You see them struggling. See them, are you going to jump in and get them? Hmm. Let me go. Let's go back down into this. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know what I was missing. Now I see a little different. I was thinking too much. I got stuck in oblivion. I got all the time in the world. So for now, I'm just chilling. Plus, I know it's a beautiful feeling in oblivion, in oblivion. Hmm. Hmm. I do like this last verse too. I ride around the city when I come home. The sun sets quickly, then it gets up slow. I just connect and upload, watch it spin around. We're just spinning around. Let's go and travel through the unknown. We play it cool. We know we're fucked though. <laughs> you keep on saying you're in love. Tell me, are you really down? Are you really down? Let's go back to my crib and play some 45. It's safe in there. I know there's still a war outside. We spend our nights all liquored up, our mornings high. Can you feel it now? Oblivion, oblivion, oblivion. I mean, the guy, it feels like the guy was really struggling with some sort of depression, some sort of anxiety, obviously. Well, I, I say obviously. I don't know why I say obviously. It's not obvious. I don't know anything about the guy. I'm just trying to pick this out from the lyrics. I got all the time in the world, so for now, I'm just chilling. I know it's a beautiful feeling in oblivion. Hmm. 
cool song. It's just really, really cool song. I want to listen to it again already. I I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm I'm letting it play a little bit longer than I kind of used to. Really trying to soak into the songs a little bit more. It's easier with songs like this, albums like this, where there's not as many words. The flow isn't as fast. I can let it play longer. Some guys like fucking Kendrick, they're saying so much so fast. And it's like if I let two verses go by, I'm going to miss half half the things I want to talk about because my brain can only hold so much. You know, the rest just starts getting bumped out. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that, that I'm, I'm letting it play a little bit longer. Um, I can do that when there's just less to process in terms of just lines, 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 lines. Cool song. Cool song. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to Wings. I kind of wanted to do almost like a, a middle of the album pause, but I think we'll play Wings. And then I, I kind of want to do like this halfway point talk for some reason. I don't know why. But Wings, track six, produced by Alexander Spit. I don't know who that is. Let's jump into it. <laughs> Yeah. This one sounds phenomenal already. Well, I love a super chill. I got a bone to pick like roses, roses. I ain't feeling broken no more. Bought a fist that got spin, I know this. Talking shit, I wonder through the motives. Wonder who the fuck was supposed to be. I ain't worried now until I leave. I'm just trying to ride and feel the breeze with something bad beside next to me. I put some money on forever, but I. Yeah. Don't like to gamble on the weather. This is fucking so I cool, man. Just this is cool. Watch. Well, the sun is shining. I can look at the horizon. The walls keep getting wider. I just hope I never find them. I know. Yeah, this is cool. Hey. We're only halfway through it. I know there's a lot more tracks left. This might be my favorite song. <laughs> I, I just, I don't know. There's something about this one, man. I love how chill it is. Super chill. Super chill. You know, this opening portion where it's almost, he's almost acapella, right? What, is that right? Acapella where you're singing by yourself? He's, I mean, there's almost no beat. It's so cool. I got a bone to pick like roses. Okay. Okay. So you pick roses. Sure. Okay. I ain't feeling broken no more. Ball the fist, they gossiping, I notice, talking shit. I wander through the motives. I wander through the motives. Wonder who the fuck we're supposed to be. I ain't worried now till I leave. I ain't worried now till I leave. Just trying to ride and feel the breeze. Till I leave, I'm just trying to ride and feel the breeze. Warning signs, calling out. I I just can't help, but I cannot read it any other way. I'm sorry. I know I'm beating that to death, but I just can't. Wind in my face, don't stop now when it feels so great. You can run till you slip on the sidewalk and the same bone that you picked gonna break. That's a motif. I forget what motif means. I forget what that word means. A motif is a tool used to create imagery through repetition. Okay. Okay. Thank you, genius. <laughs> When it's coming right back, so familiar, never been realer, never felt so damn good where I'm at. I don't know what it's all about. Running through too many thoughts to count. Still adding up. I'll let you know when I've had enough. Huh. Yeah, well, I put some money on forever, but I don't like to gamble on the weather. So I just watch while the sun is shining. I can look at the horizon. The walls keep getting wider. I just hope I never find them. The walls keep getting wider. So the first thing I think of there is, and this is just a, a, a musical relation, Pink Floyd, the wall, and how he builds the wall, which separates him from everybody else. And that's what walls do. They separate things. And so what happens when a wall gets wider? The separation between you and everything else becomes more and more and more the walls keep getting wider i just hope i never find them huh this is an incredible song i this is probably going to be my favorite from the album 
earlier I was talking about too the anxiety, the depression. He's got too many thoughts. He said this multiple times, so I feel pretty comfortable saying he's got some sort of anxiety and amount. I would say probably a pretty intense amount of anxiety because his thoughts are always going. His thoughts are always going. Whatever. Now, what's interesting is he doesn't say what these thoughts are. Really, he hasn't done that yet. Maybe the back half of the album he will. But you know, he's, people are talking, they're gossiping. He's just wandering through the motives. Wondering who the fuck we're supposed to be. I ain't worried now. Till I leave, I'm just trying to ride and feel the breeze with something bad beside and next to me. Okay. This is a cool, cool jam. This line too, I put some money on forever, but I don't like to gamble on the weather. The only reason why that strikes me is just because in that opening track, it's talking about Sun, sunshine doesn't feel good when you've been inside all day. You know, I'd like to go outside, but it's starting to look kind of gray. And there seems to be some sort of association with, with mood swings there. And so I'd put some money on forever, which could be, you know, him living. But I don't like to gamble on the weather, meaning I'm not going to bet on my own mood swings. And that's what I pull from that. I don't know. Let's see what the annotations say. In this line, Mac emphasizes the stability of forever while also emphasizing the unpredictability of daily events such as the weather. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes I don't want to. I like talking shit on the annotations sometimes, but I don't need to do it all the time. Don't like to gamble the weather, so I just watch while the sun is shining. I can look at the horizon. The walls keep getting water. I just hope I never find them. These are my wings. These are my wings. These are my wings. Fucking wild stuff, honestly. This is what's so cool about music and lyrics, man. Like when I say something that's a wild song, like I, you know, I even think, oh yeah, something loud, something crazy, something going off. No, it doesn't have to be. Sometimes it could be something that's so quiet and so detached. You know, that's another point too. I didn't really think about that. I, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to. I'm enjoying the music so much because it's so chill, but it's also, in a way, it's almost misleading. Like, it. My mind has been tricked into thinking, okay, yeah, this is just in the background, but really. Think about somebody who's detaching, detaching, detaching. The walls are getting wider. They're, they're, they're getting further away. And then think about the music and how removed it is. And then you think about the title Wings and somebody just kind of floating off. Hmm. All right, let's continue with the first two. Yeah. Well, moving so fast, the clock looks slow. Slow. Water my seeds till the flowers just grow. Yeah, love so much that my heart get broke I don't really know how the normal shit go The sun is shining, I can look at the horizon The walls keep getting wilder, I just hope I never find them, no, no God, this song is so fucking cool yeah. Well Fantastic song. I know I need to watch my temper so I don't gamble on the weather. And I kind of already forgot what I said earlier about, but, it, you know, relating to mood swings and stuff like that. The second verse is kind of uh, concerning. Moving so fast, the clock looks slow. Water my seeds, the flower just grows. Love so much that my heart gets broke. I don't really know how the normal shit goes. I guess I just play this line. It was this line, man. I guess I just play it by ear. Silence is all that I hear. And I take that idea, that line, silence is all that I hear. And then I, and then I try to assess it into a mindset of somebody who wants, who feels like they're swimming. They might be drowning. They don't really care. They've got walls of separation. They're in oblivion. 
and then they're asking other people, oh, you say you love me. How are you down? Are you down? You know, I'm not hiding. I'm right here. Silence is all that I hear. First, first stir of emotion right there. Because man, that line, given the stuff that he has said thus far, first half, that line is really strong. Listening as close as I can. Silence is all I hear. Listening as close as I can. Growing up, one, two, three, jump. Nobody holding my hand. No. Trust is a problem. Never knew how. That's why I just keep to myself. Get what I need, then I'll be out. Who can surf the universe with me? You, you, Lucifer was hum, is human, so are we. All I ever want is what I need. And that don't include your time and company. Follow me, we're on the up and up. Remember when I owed 100 bucks? Now I look around like, what the fuck? This guy... You know, I, I mentioned Pink Floyd The Wall earlier just as a musical analogy, more or less. But there's there's some there are some similar threads here in the sense that in that album, the story is this this rock star is is becoming so isolated. So he's building the wall, he's building the wall, he's just isolating, isolating, isolating. And then there's this legendary Pink Floyd track called Comfortably Numb. And if you've never heard that song, that's just a phenomenal song. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like Mac Miller has become comfortably numb. Hmm. God, that's a beautiful song. Okay. Earlier I said I wanted to stop and talk midway. That feeling has passed. <laughs> I, I think what's happening now is I'm really getting excited. Because layers are starting to unfold. It's been a bit of a slow burn, more or less, but let's keep going. It's track seven. It's called Ladders, produced by Pomo and John Bryan. Who did Pomo do this previous one? No, he did not. It was Alan Day. What was the other one Pomo did? That I because I really liked it. I really liked it. Uh <laughs> what's the use? But I've already forgot what that sounds like. But it does have a heart next to it. Anyway, let's move on. Ladders. <laughs> Track seven. Produced by Pomo. John Bryan. Ladders. God, Wings is amazing. Amazing song. Somehow we gotta find a way. No matter how many miles it takes. I know it feels so good right now. But it all come falling down. When the night meet the light, turn the day. Can't stop, then you won't stop. I know just how that feel. When you're on top, till the ball drop. You never seem to be so real. Well, I'm a, I'm a maintain, I'm staying nice. so high. Nice job. Try to run away up till we touch in the sky. And you know you're dead wrong, you in love with a lie. All I, all I, all I wanna do is free your mind. We don't see no lines, we don't color inside. It's a very small world, we don't fuck with the size. Yeah, see the bigger picture when it's beneficial. Love and how it fits you, blow the whistle when you run out of time. But it all come falling down. When the night, when the light, turn the day. That closing line on the chorus is interesting. When the night meets the lights, turns to day. I know it feels so good right now, but it all comes falling down when the night meets the light, turns to day. Because usually it's the other way, right? So it's an interesting imagery that's being used there. But let's go back up. Somehow we got to find a way, no matter how many miles it takes. I know it feels so good right now. But it all comes falling down when the night meets the light, turns to day. Somehow we got to find a way, no matter how many miles it takes. I don't really know what to make of that. Can't stop, then you won't stop. I know just how that feels when you're on top till the ball drops. You've never seen it be so real. It feels so good right now, but it all comes falling down. Feel it a little, feel it a lot. I'm swimming a bit, but deeper in thought again. So this is something that pretty consistent throughout the album now. You know, he's he just his there's something going on in his mind. In that, I mean that's that's hard to deal with. But it's something that Alan Watts has really helped me out with 
a lot prior to now. Now I'm a lot more settled, but Alan Watts, there's great videos with Alan Watts. Actually, I'll just tell you one of my favorite ones, Alan Watts, Fear of Enlightenment. Fear of Enlightenment. That's one of my favorite videos. I probably listened to that thing a hundred times at least, man. I, there was a point I could almost recite it because it was just very calming to me. And Alan Watts talks about the mind and thought and thought processes and worry. And he's got a lot of great speaks on that, speeches on that. Because it is, it can become a problem, the brain and what it does and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts. And sometimes it feels like you just can't control it and stuff. And it's weird because there's so many things in life that are skills that need to be developed, even though it doesn't seem like it should be a skill. It seems like it should be intuitive. I, I talk to my son about this sometimes about you know, like take running like everybody knows how to run but running is a skill that you develop now obviously there's there's stamina there's physical conditioning that goes with it but if you take two people of the same health same strength endurance whatever and you have one person run poorly like with not good technique and the other person run with good technique there's going to be a huge disparity there, right? It's a skill. Speaking, doing what I'm doing right now is a skill. Tearing apart lyrics is a skill. These are and and really, it it's just something that as you practice it, you get better. As you practice, you get better. That's that's all a skill is, and developing a skill. Thought, and controlling your thoughts, and shutting down the brain is also a skill. And this is where things like meditation come in stuff like that. And you have to practice. And I feel like it's easy for people to go, man, I just can't, you know, I just can't. My brain, I just, I just can't. But that's not true. You can. It just takes practice. Now, I'm, I'm not saying all of this to say, oh, Mac could have done it. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to put any kind of blame or, or anything like that on Mac Miller. I'm just talking to, to anybody here right now watching this thinking, yeah, my thoughts are out of control. Okay. Okay, so that's that's where you are, and that's fine. No, no accusation, no judgment, nothing like that. You can work on that. You can. That is a skill that can be developed, where you learn to just slow down your thoughts. I you probably saw me do it earlier. I was talking about. I was getting all excited, right? I was like, oh, I've got like three or four things. I need to just stop, focus on the one thing, talk through the one thing. You can do that. It's a skill, but it, it it's weird because it does take practice, and it. I feel like even me just talking about it right now, that's unintuitive, right? You, there's a very strong belief in my mind even right now of, well, no, they're my thoughts. I should be able to just stop them when I want. But the truth is we can't. Sometimes it's easy for these thoughts to just tear. You ever wake up in the middle of the night, you can't sleep, whatever. You got to go to the bathroom, you go back to bed. And then all of a sudden your brain just tears off on these horrible horrible thought process, right? Like like daydreams that are just awful. And you get all mad and riled up and you can't fucking fall. Like what is going on there, right? If we had control of our thoughts, that would that would never happen. That would literally never happen if we had full control of our thoughts. Now with stuff like that, there's something I practice where I just I just in out. I don't like breathe a certain way. I just when I breathe in, I say in. And when I breathe out, I say out. And I, I just, I try and focus on those two words. And that's it. And other thoughts come in and they collide. And then I just know I'm just breathing in. I'm just breathing out. And that helps me fall back asleep. Huge fucking departure. I forgot why I got onto that. Oh yeah, because Mac Miller is deep in thoughts again. There you go. There's a tangent for you. <laughs> I forgot like what song we were listening to. <laughs> This is why it's dangerous for me to get on tangents because I go fucking full bore old man mode and just tell a story about when I was mining back in the 1870s, right? <laughs> feel a little, feel a lot. I'm swimming a bit, but deeper in thought. Keeping my head on top of my shoulders into some shit. I'm out of the box. You know, that line makes me think of Alice in Chains. I'm the man in my box. I'm the man in the box. Shove my nose in shit. I have no idea if he listened to Alice in Chains or not. That, that's the first thing that comes to mind there. Into some shit, I'm out of the box. But that's probably no relation at all. It's just a lyrical, there's some, there's some uh, coincidences there. 
This is the level I'm on, needing it all right now when forever is gone. Baby, the weather is strong. Whether it's hot or cold, I'm coming knocking on your door. I'm going to maintain how I'm staying so high. Put the ladder all the way up till we touch in the sky, and you know you're dead wrong. You're in love with a lie. Oh, man. Mmm. Now, this is interesting because I feel like that line right there, and you, and you know you're dead wrong, you're in love with the lie. I was talking about earlier how some people want you know, others to prove that they love them, you know, playing hard to get and all that stuff. What if there's someone who is... So here's another barrier. <clears throat> Let's say there is a person that does love Mac Miller. and you know, Now, the next, what's the next hurdle? No, 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 you don't actually love the real me. You, you love a lie. So it's just another way to maintain the distance. It's another way to push this person back. Keep making these walls wider. <clears throat> All I want to do is free your mind. We don't see no lines. We don't color inside. It's a very small world. Don't fuck with the size. See the bigger picture when it's beneficial. Love how I fit you. Blow the whistle when you run out of time. That's an interesting line too. Blow the whistle when you run out of line of time. I guess it's that kind of day. It's really all I'm trying to say. We don't have a lot of time to waste. Somehow we got to find a way. Got to find a way no matter how many miles it takes. Trippy song. Trippy lyrics, man. This guy. Yeah. This guy's got to put the ladder all the way up to her touching the sky. I'm going to maintain how I'm staying so high. Let's keep going because I got on such a long tangent. I kind of forgot what the song sounded like. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> Great beat. Great beat. pause it here before the the instrumental outro Lo god i love the music i love the music man this has been such an enjoyable album in terms of beats and just the musical tone overall i wouldn't wait forever just shoot your shot and god that makes me want to go back up to that line about you say you love me but you're just loving a lie and you know you're dead wrong you're in love with the lie all i want to do is free your mind and the reason why I, I go back to that is because I wouldn't wait forever, just shoot your shot, meaning just just do what you're going to do and see if it works, you know, rather than maybe, maybe Mac is having this experience with somebody. And I th honestly, I'm way out here. I'm, I'm reaching on this one. <laughs> I'm clinging to my own ideas on this one. But maybe there is somebody who's actually maybe starting to sneak in a little bit. And I feel like he's very defensive. Well, I don't want to say very defensive. I, he does have this tendency, the impression I'm getting of, of pushing people back, pushing people back. pushing. And so maybe this is another mechanism of, hey, don't work so hard. Don't try so hard. Just take a shot. Okay, you're going to try and you're going to try and be with me. Just take a shot and see where it goes. Because he wants like a, a low percentage shot rather than a high percentage shot. Right. He doesn't want whoever this is to, to get in. All the lights flickering, hitting the right switches. I'm living this life different and missing the flight bullshitting. I kind of like that. Like, yeah, he misses his own plane. <laughs> I had a plan to change. You can't stand the rain. A little delayed, but I came and you're cool with it. I don't trip, flip, lose my grip. And I don't know it all, but I do know this. Before you know me, better know self. 
I've been in this shit so long that I don't smell. I don't know it all, but I do know this. Before you know me, better know self. Better know self. I've been in this shit so long that it don't smell. I turn the, the hotel to a castle, living like a king for a grand. I don't do nothing that's a hassle besides even that castle's made out of sand. Just might slip into the sea, fuck it all, if it ain't all me. Maybe we inside the maze, somehow we gotta find a way. Okay. Which... I was talking about earlier when the night meets the light turns to day. When the castle, he talks about the castle turning to sand. And so there's like this uh, kind of association with when the night is over, the fun is over. I, I mean, he's probably partying at night. That's when most people party is at night. Living like a king for a grand. They're at the hotel. He's, you know, plops down a grand, They're living like a king. He's having fun. But then the, the day comes, the castle turns into sand. You know, lyrically, I'm trying very hard, but this one's hard. This one's hard to decipher. It really is. This is a challenging song to figure out what exactly he's getting at because he never really comes out and says it. You know, somehow we got to find a way, no matter how many miles it takes. That line, I still don't really fully understand. I guess I could. Let's see what the annotation says. It refers to the first song on the album, Come Back to Earth. I just need a way out of my head. Mac feels trapped with the idea of an ex-girlfriend that stays with them. No, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I know it feels so good right now, but it all comes falling down when the night meets the light and it turns to day. I associate this more with his concern with sobriety. Like he gets a little sentimental with these off the juice. So he likes being on the juice because then he doesn't feel these things. And, but, you know, he's partying in the night. And so as the night wears on and the night turns into day, that castle that he lives like a king in, he becomes sober and that all turns to sand and goes away. That's, that's my take on that. Let's move on. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We still got the instrumental outro. Yeah, that's cool. Let's hear this music because the, the music in this track is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. Twice now, I've wanted the music to just keep going. You know, I wanted wings to keep going. I wanted ladders to keep going too. Like I could listen to that to another two, three minutes. <laughs> great song. Ladders is a great song. Great song. Okay, track eight is called Small Worlds, produced by Carter Lang and Tay Beast. Those names are both familiar. Both familiar. Tay Beast for sure. Carter Lang as well but I don't recall which album from. Okay, track eight, Small Worlds. Yeah, yeah. The world is so small till it ain't. Yeah. I'm building up a wall till it break. She hated when I call and it's late. You never told me being rich was so lonely Nobody know me, oh well Hard to complain from this five-star hotel I'm always in a rush, I've been thinking too much But keep it on the hush, no one need to know just us That's really all it takes We don't need nothing but today, 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 today <clears throat> The first thing that stands out to me in this song Is the way he's singing It's not good but here's the thing. It's not like Mac Miller is a bad singer. He can sing. He's displayed that. So this vocal style is on purpose. But why? Why is it on purpose? You know? Because, and, and to be clear, I'm not saying he sounds terrible here, but he, this is a specific vocal sound that's happening. The world is so small till it ain't. I'm building up a wall till it breaks. 
and I have mentioned walls, but he has also mentioned walls. I forget what track it was now where the wall is widening, right? More separation. She didn't want to call and it's late. Don't want to keep you waiting. I hope I never keep you waiting. I think I know it all, but I don't. You know, in this part, right? You know, I think I know it all, but I don't. It's this weird, like, almost like lazy, apathetic, almost sarcastic. Why are you always at the mall when you're broke? I just want a ball, maybe dunk, but I've never been tall. I might trip, I never fall. God knows I came close. Don't try this at home. Oh, oh. I might trip, I never fall. God knows I came close. Don't try this at home. It's like a warning. Oh, but see, I don't know this other stuff. During Max's album, watching movies with sound off, his mixtape, his faces, he went through a really rough patch, dealing with fame and heavy drug use. Max is saying the experience is hard time in his recovery from heavy drug use. God knows how close. Okay, okay. Yeah, I agree with that. And here we go again. This guy, this poor guy is just in his head. I know I probably need to do better. Fuck whoever. Keep my shit together. You never told me being so rich was so lonely. Nobody knows me. Oh, well. Hard to complain from this five-star hotel. I'm always in a rush. I've been thinking too much, but keep it on the hush. No one needs to know, just us. It really is a shame how isolated he is. And, you know, on, on one hand, though, I say that, but on the other hand, the first thing I think of is, well, it's got to be really, really hard when you're young and you're famous and you got a lot of money and you don't know who your friends are. You don't know who you can trust. You don't know who's actually there to care about you versus somebody who just wants to ride your coattails versus somebody who just wants to get money from you. Like That's got to be a very, very difficult situation to be in. So I'm not trying to like put any accusations or blame on Mac Miller or anything like that at all. I'm just, it's a shame that he feels so isolated, but I also imagine it's got to be extremely difficult. The world's so small till it ain't. Building up a wall till it breaks. Let's keep going. Let's get through these. So here on the bridge, you can see he's talking like woo, right? And then yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he says it again. <laughs> cool guitar right here. God, the guitar is fantastic. We don't need nothing but today. The world is so small. Till it ain't. Till it ain't. Till it ain't. Till it ain't. I'm going to let this outro play through. I love that he brings in piano now, too. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, I get it wrong. That's why I wrote this song. Tell myself to hold on. Clouds start to move. Don't tell me nothing but the truth. I'm tired, I don't got a spare second. When I lose, when I lose, I don't keep count, nobody checking. Huh. Cool song. Very cool song. I like that outro a lot. The piano, the guitar was killing it in the first part. Man, it really was. It was really cool. It's like very bluesy guitar. <clears throat> Pretty substantial change though on the outro. And interesting, interesting lines here too. Now, did I miss? There was something on the second verse I thought I wanted to pay attention to here. Go beat the game, young control freak. It's cold in my veins. I'm below freezing. Snow season made me. They know that I so need my space. Don't want to grow old, so I smoke just in case. She said that I glow below the waist and the stroke is so PGA. That's a golfing thing, but I don't, I don't really get it, honestly. <laughs> All I got is a little bit of space and time, drawing shapes and lines and of a world we made tomorrow maybe right around the corner but i swear it's going to be worth it if i make you wait there's somewhere above you keep reaching up hmm. 
Hmm. This guy's challenging lyrically. And I think, you know, well, I already want to kind of like talk about the album, but I'll wait. It, I can see why people enjoy this so much. Fuck, the music is just phenomenal, man. It's so easy to listen to. And Mac Miller, he's got this cool casualness to him. You know, he's good. He almost feels like a lounge singer in a way. You know, just real slow, real mellow. Doesn't doesn't need to get loud. Doesn't need to get crazy. Just let the music play and let these words come through. I'm doing my thing. And you just chill. It's great. It's great. Let's turn to this. Well, I was going to say the, the outro, but the chorus is still. The world is so small till it ain't. Uh, well, what's the annotation say here? Okay, uh, no, I'm not even reading that. No. Let's check out this outro. Nine times out of ten, I get it wrong. That's why I wrote this song. Tell myself, hold on. I can feel my fingers slipping in a motherfucking instant. I'll be gone. So this is just, God, this is just him. Just dumping it out, dumping it out. Nine times out of ten, I get it wrong. That's why I wrote this song. I'm telling myself to hold on, but he feels himself slipping, but hold on. This is a great question. Do you want it all if it's all mediocre? Now, that's an interesting line in the sense that, you know, he is staying in five-star hotels, right? He has all this money. What's the other thing he said in one of the other songs? You know, blue fountains and pools, and this is my my scene now or something like that. He's, I, maybe that was the first track. And so it's, it's you know, and he's flying around, but it's all mediocre. You know, he has it all, but do you want it all if it's all mediocre? And really you take that and pair it into the idea of, you know, I think it was actually in this song earlier, he said, I never knew being famous would feel so lonely or being rich would feel so lonely. And so, yeah, when you have it all, but it's all mediocre primarily because you feel so lonely. Do you really want it all? Stand at the wall and the wall full of posters, looking at my dreams, who I want to be. I guess you got to see to believe. I bet a fool, but it's cool. That's what humans do. Keep your eyes to the sky, never glued to your shoes. Guess there was a time when my mind was consumed, but the sun's coming out now. Clouds start to move. And that's important. Because there's been a couple of times now where he's referencing the weather, whether he doesn't, you know, he doesn't want to gamble on it because of his mood swings, it changes. He doesn't say mood swings. I'm, I'm putting that in there. That's my impression. The opening track is talking about sunshine and green skies. Now the sun's coming out. The clouds start to move. Don't tell me nothing but the truth. I'm tired. I don't got a sec, a spare second. Win or lose, win or lose. I don't keep count. Nobody's checking. <clears throat> I'm starting to get this association with weather and getting lost in his own thoughts. And so maybe right now, you know, he wrote this song for himself. Nine times out of 10, he gets it wrong, right? That's why I wrote this song, tell myself to hold on. And so now he's talking about the clouds are partying. He's starting to see some stuff. So maybe this was just something that was therapeutic for him. Kind of just helping him get out of his own head a little bit. I don't know. Cool. I mean, great song musically, great song musically. So we went to track nine, which is called Conversation Part One, Flying Lotus, Young Exclusive, and Cardo. Flying Lotus, I have heard of. But I don't know if I've actually heard Flying Lotus. All right, track nine, Conversation Part One. We ain't on the same shit, no way. You ain't from my planet, we don't speak the same language. This is an occasion, ain't it? I'm feeling good and hated. Shit, I don't recognize these faces. Nice hit right there. Yeah. Where you from? Who you came? With? Started in the basement. Made it way above the top. Now I'm in the spaceship. And the spaceship. Shit, the spaceship. Swear your life is basic. All you do is sit around the house. You getting faded. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh. Da, 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 da. Where was it? Started the you know, he's just talking about himself. Started the basement, made it to the top. You know, in this spaceship, it's so spacious, which is cool. Your life is basic. All you do is sit around the house, getting faded. That ain't entertainment. You're missing every single shot that you ain't taken. I like that a lot. 
You could use a little bit of imagination. You could use a little bit of your imagination. It could do you right, improve your life. You're busy wasting. I like that because that's more or less a compliment. You know, on one hand, I think people would take it as, oh, you know, he's just insulting this person for sitting around. And just But no, like, Mac has seen potential in this person. Use a little bit of your imagination. Like, So I take that to see as Mac sees potential in this person. Improve a life you're busy wasting. Said it's your money if you make it. Otherwise, it's just conversation. And this is a cool way of saying it. It ain't your money till you make it. It's just a conversation. You're just talking. It's just talk. It's just talk. It's cool. Let's listen to the chorus. I'm feeling good and hated. Shit, I don't recognize these faces. Yeah. Where you from? Where you came? I started in the basement. Made it way above the top. Now I'm in the spaceship. They ain't on my way, but they waving. Stop it, boy. You're running through your savings. So I was laughing here on that last line. I, this is cool. Uh, this is cool. And it's kind of a nice uh, deviation from some of the stuff that we've been focusing or I have been focusing on throughout so much of this album in terms of drug use and Mac and isolation and walls and all this other shit. Like this is a departure from that, which is nice. <laughs> This this is a great verse. Everybody's famous. Everybody's wild. Everybody's dangerous. Get a couple dollars. Now they act the strangest. Now they want to give a couple statements. When you're really about it, you don't say shit. Pocket full of aces. Take over my city. It's really home invasions. All my homies with me getting busy. No vacations. They ain't on my wave, but they wave and stop it. You're running through your savings. Like I take that to mean, you know, they're trying to match him and they just can't because they're not as good. They don't have as much money. So I, I don't know. I just really like that line. Stop it, boy. You're running through your savings. <laughs> and it's so funny to hear, too, with the sense of Mac Miller, the way he delivers it. Because there's no, like, in-your-face tone. The beat's really chill. It's just this most casual thing. You know, like, yeah, just stop it. Just stop. Like, he can't even be bothered enough to be annoyed by it. It's just... A, a statement of fact, you know? <laughs> so I like that quite a bit. Shit, I don't recognize these faces. Yeah. Where you from? Where you came? Started in the basement. Made it way above the top. Now I'm in the spaceship. In the spaceship. Shit, spaceship. Cool. Very cool. Cool jam. I'm just going to let it roll into track 10, which is Dunno, uh, produced by Mac Miller and Parson Brown. Don't have a whole lot to say about that previous song. Good song. Enjoyed it, but pretty straightforward in terms of the lyrics. Yeah. She do whatever she like. And that don't seem right. Yeah. Make people so mad. Yeah, they want it so bad. Mm. Well, we was fucking almost missed my flight. I wasn't even tripping, I said it's alright. Yeah, goddamn, we was hit last night. Wouldn't you rather get along? Wouldn't you rather get along? Until, until there is no longer Let's get lost inside the cloud Ooh, you don't gotta work hard I can calm you down Hmm. Yeah, you know, he's talking about a girl. Well, I assume. But I was going to say, I don't know. And then I looked at the, the track title. And I was like, oh, well, am I just trying to be silly or what? <laughs> like, She do whatever she likes. And that just don't seem right. Yeah, make people so mad. They want it so bad. Okay, we were fucking. I almost missed the flight. I was just, that's all right. So 
on the surface level, it seems like he's talking about a girl, you know, they're hanging out, you should just have some weed, you know, I've never seen you so free when you're like that, it's cute, wouldn't you rather just get along rather than fight and all this other stuff, but until there is no longer, let's get lost inside the cloud and you don't have to work harder, I can calm you down. I feel like there's a double meaning here. I feel like this is him also talking about just smoking pot, well, I'm assuming pot, <clears throat> and calming the mind calming the mind so it seems like he's talking about this girl but i can't help but think like he's also just talking about himself like his own mind wouldn't you rather just get along <laughs> you know look just just get lost in the cloud just calm down you don't gotta work hard just calm down <laughs> just smoke calm down all right let's keep going Baby, we don't need a trip, we could be right here When the shit get weird, we can switch up gears I wanna see them lips, kiss it ear to ear I wanna hear your song Oh, I wanna feel just how you feel Touch it one more time so I know you're real We could spin that wheel, wouldn't you rather get along? Another thing that's coming to mind right now is there was a line, I don't remember which track it was, but talking about who can fly through the universe with me or, or something like that. Who can travel through the universe with me? This is an interesting track in the sense that up until now, Mac has for the most part been fairly active in pushing someone away. So this is a different take. This is a, this is a different side. This is interesting. And, you know, I, I think there's parallels here. I think he's talking about this girl and, and whatever. And I don't know exactly what happened here. Again, he's not being specific. You know, we don't need to trip. Oh, we don't need a trip. We could be right here. When the shit gets weird, we can switch up gears. I, I want to see them lips kissing ear to ear. I want to hear your song. I want to feel just how you feel. Touch me one more. Touch you one more time so I know you're real. So he seems to almost be surprised that he's with this person, you know? I think we just might be all right. Thank God. Interesting. I think we're going to be all right. All right. Okay. Mm. This your favor. I know. Lyrically, I feel like the song's pretty straightforward in terms of him just being with this other person. But when I fold the music in, it's so subdued. It's calm, right? It's not busy. It's not loud. Now, that's not surprising given the nature of this album. So, it, you know, that shouldn't necessarily stand out to anyone, I don't think. It doesn't even really stand out to me in, in the sense of the setting of the album. This is very much in tune with the album. But specifically with this song, with these lyrics, somebody who's mentioned several times about having too many thoughts being caught up in thoughts and just these thoughts these thoughts these thoughts then you get this song that's talking about sm basically talking about smoking and uh fuck i already forgot the lyrics they're right here <laughs> let's get lost inside the cloud you don't gotta work harder harder just calm you down and you know pot they call mary jane sometimes so maybe i feel like there's two meanings existing here and with the music especially with it being so calm and so mellow, it's not busy. There's no, you know, jittering thoughts. There's no, none of that. It's just calm, calm. And there you go. So I, I don't really think there's necessarily a whole lot of deeper meaning with that one, but that's, that's what I'm lifting from that track. Interesting song. Pretty cool. You know, with that song specifically by itself, probably not, you know, a song I'll listen to a lot. But with this album, absolutely. I'm. It's funny, I was kind of laughing at myself earlier. I was thinking, God, I can't wait to listen to this album again. And it's like, you haven't even finished listening to it yet. But it's good. <laughs> it's just really good. And it's got such a cool tone throughout. And so I'm looking forward. Even I like listening to it without pausing. You know, I pause a lot, I talk a lot. But I'm really looking forward to listening to this just top to bottom all the way through. Let's move on to track 11, which is called Jet Fuel, produced by... Mac Miller, DJ Dahi, and Steve Lacey. That's a new name to me, I believe. I believe. All right, track 11, Jet Fuel. <laughs> huh, trippy. I love the guitar here. Love the guitar. 
Yeah. Used to wanna be a superhero, flying around with a cape, catching bad guys. I'm a head underwater, but I ain't in the shower and I ain't getting baptized. To the good and the bad times, all the cuts, broken bones, and the black eyes. Young motherfucker with a mad mind, made a couple million off of rap lines. So what? Walk up this moment with a bright idea. <laughs> God, I love, I just love the sound of this album, man. The music is fantastic. Okay, okay, well, I'ma be here for a while Longer than I did expect to I was out of town getting lost and I was rescued Now my head is underwater, but I ain't in the shower and I ain't getting baptized. Earlier I was talking about I'm swimming and I, I don't even care if I drown. Now my head's underwater. To the good times and the bad times, all the cuts, broken bones, and black eyes. <laughs> Made a couple million off of rap lines. You can't tell me nothing anymore. Came from that basement under the floor. You don't come close. You don't even know I'm the goat. You don't need to know how I go. Because I know what you want. All I want to do is the most backflip off the rope. Skyhook when I'm in the post. Backflip off the rope is probably a wrestling term. Skyhook, I think, is basketball. <laughs> My girl's too clutch to choke. That can mean a lot of things. <laughs> I don't even click the annotation, but my girl's too clutch to choke. I, I'm, I'm just going to leave that one. I, there's, there's a lot of meanings you can put in that one. I really like that line because of how just kind of open it is. But it's cool how it feeds into uh, the basketball line as well. I ain't calling it quits. You can build a wall with your bricks. While I keep talking shit, it's like this. Like you're still in my cup, get faded when I wake up. Because everything is too much. So what? There's an annotation for the build the wall. Oh, interesting. This plays off the theme of basketball. When a player misses the ball, it's commonly referred to as a brick, right? That's an interesting. Yeah. All right. Cool. I like that. I like that. Woke up this morning with a bright idea. Smoke. <laughs> Maybe I can exist forever right here. Which is an interesting s statement to make, interesting line to have after the previous song where, you know, he's, let's get lost in the cloud. <clears throat> I'm going to be here for a while, longer than I expected to. I was out of town getting lost till I was rescued. Now I'm in the clouds, come down when I run out of jet fuel, but I never run out of jet fuel. I'm in the clouds, come down when I run out, but I never run out. He's always high. He's always high. And why is that? Because everything is too much. Liquor still in my cup, get faded when I wake up, because everything is too much. So what? Hmm. Well, let's keep going here. Let's keep going. I don't need nobody. I don't need to be nobody. I'm just doing my thing. Kick it at the crib, I don't see nobody. No. So over there with that bullshit We don't need it on this side I'm pulling up in that new shit You always whipping that dick ride I demand your respect I won't share my connect No, Let's get this clear, I am here I don't care who got next Young vet, feeling like they forget I let it slide This time, like 25 years I've been high Now I'm in the clouds, come down when I run out of jet fuel But I never run out of jet fuel Oh, beautiful. I, I am going to pause it here and then we'll listen to this outro here. Which there isn't much. It looks like there's just a bunch of lyrics or uh, a bunch of music. A little bit of lyrics. I won't read the outro here. You know, what's striking me right now too, I was out of town getting lost till I was rescued. That line is really interesting to me. I was out of town getting lost till I was rescued. And there's, there's two reasons why it's interesting to me. One, I don't know in what way. What way has he been rescued? Because I'm not getting any impression of him having been rescued by anything. And then this whole idea of out of town. This has come up a couple times, this idea of being out of town. You know, More so, not so much being out of town, but I could go home if I want to or... I could close my eyes and get home. There's been some lines like that about going home, which then obviously implies that he's not home. He's out of town. 
getting lost and I was rescued. I was out of town getting lost. I was, that line's really sticking with me and I, I don't know what to make of it. I'm going to be here for a while longer than I, I did expect to. I was out of town getting lost till I was rescued. Now I'm in the clouds. Maybe out of town means out of his mind. As in, he, I can't stop thinking, I can't stop thinking, I can't stop, you know. Maybe. I don't know, though. I don't think that's the case. Let's hit up the second verse here. Some of the lyrics. 120 on a car that I don't whip. I don't even pull it up the driveway. <laughs> Jesus. Man. I don't say nothing that I don't know. Jumping out through the womb wearing polo. Everybody wants to jump in, but I'm old school. Lone wolf. Take them on solo. I don't need nobody. I don't need to be nobody. I'm just doing my thing. Kicking it at the crib. I don't see nobody. So over there with that bullshit. We don't need it out on this side. I'm pulling up in that new shit. You're always whipping that dick ride. Hmm. This guy. Well, I was gonna say I was gonna say, you know, this guy should have never been a rapper. But I don't mean that. What I mean to say is I feel like this guy, he really does just struggle with limelight, fame, etc. Um, which probably sounds dumb because it seems pretty obvious, but really I'm thinking that more coupled with whatever anxiety that he has, you know, what a, it's a, it's a tough mix. It's a really tough mix. That's really what I'm thinking about because <clears throat> he, he wants to be alone, but then he also struggles with loneliness. But I think the loneliness struggle comes from the fame as in, I don't know who my real friends actually are. So he's, he's giving a lot of indications of keeping people distant, keeping people away, you know, playing hard to get. People need to prove that they care about him because he just doesn't trust anybody. I think he even had a line. I don't, I don't remember which song it was now, but where he's, I can't trust anybody. can only trust myself type of thing. And I, I'm kind of rambling here more to say it's just, you know, the whole thing, it's, it's just kind of sad. You know, it's just kind of sad. Okay, let's listen to this outro. I think that's a trombone? Or a trumpet, perhaps? Beautiful sound. God, the song, the music just throughout this whole album. I know I haven't said a whole lot about the beats, not a whole lot to say about the beats because they're just pretty clean, pretty simple, but they're just beautiful. It's so great to listen to. Like just this simple guitar strum. It's so great. It's so great. So I take that outro as him drowning. That's how I take that. He's no longer swimming. He is now drowning because he's been alluding to that and there's been little tiny breadcrumbs as the album progresses about it getting a little bit harder to keep his head above the water there was a line i don't remember where about him okay my head's now under the water and that sound it sounds like drowning like not well you know usually we think of drowning we think of oh you know the thrash around like no 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 fully submerged in the just drifting deeper and deeper and you have now drowned you're you're in fate in your hands while you're waiting for me i'm already there falling in deep now is only now head back to the ground dear i'm already there falling in fate is in your hands while you're waiting for me The only thing I can think of this this line fate in your hands while you're waiting on me waiting for me. I feel like that means you know I'm sure there are plenty of people in Mac Miller's life who were concerned for him and were wanting to help him and maybe maybe they tried a little bit and maybe he was successful at pushing him away and so maybe but now you take you know his perspective and so 
Okay. <laughs> one thought, one thought. <laughs> so from their perspective, they go, okay, we'll just... He's telling us he wants some space. He's telling us he's fine. He's telling us don't worry. He's telling us whatever. Okay, these people, and so they go. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll give him. We'll just just give him space. Give him some time. Let's just give him some time, right? Let's wait. Let's wait for him. Give him some time is the same thing as waiting for somebody. But then you flip it and you look at Max's perspective of fate in your hands. My fate in your hand. My fate is in your hands. While you are waiting for me. So they are waiting for him. And he is waiting for them. And what's happening? He's drowning. And there's no action being taken. You know? And so what does that mean when somebody's drowning? Especially with a drowning. Like when it's actually happened. There's water in the lungs. Every second counts. You got to jump in. You got to start CPR. You got to try and get the oxygen. You know, get the water out of the lungs. You got to try and get oxygen moving. All that kind of shit, right? CPR. Every second that passes, every moment that goes by, less and less chance of recovering this person who is drowned. And so Mac is saying, my fate's in your hands while you are waiting for me. At least that's the, that's the take I get, especially with that music. I cannot help but feel like that music means I am now drowning. I'm drowning. I'm not swimming anymore. I'm drowning. I'm already there, falling in deep. Now is only now. Head back to the ground, dear. I don't really know about that last line. Head back to the ground, dear. Let's see what the annotation says. This is all reference to his drug habit. He is saying his fate is now in the drug's hands as they have been waiting for him. Yeah, I mean, I can understand that interpretation. I don't, I don't agree with it. I'm already there, falling in deep. I mean, clearly... I didn't actually, I didn't mention the drug because I didn't feel like I needed to. <laughs> it seems pretty obvious, you know? Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what he, he's, he's drowning. He's just lost in this and he's waiting for somebody to come get him while they're waiting to give him space. Huh? All right. Track 12, uh, 2009 produced by Eric G. Hmm. That name also seems familiar, but I th feel like I've only... Maybe seen it once or twice. Okay, 2009. Some strings, nice. And sometimes, sometimes, I wish I took a simpler route Instead of having demons that's as big as my house But I don't need to lie no more Nowadays all I do is shine, take a breath and ease my mind and she don't cry no more She tell me that I get her high cause the angel's supposed to fly This, this, this is getting hard, this is getting hard now This is getting hard Beautiful song, beautiful song. Um, you know, I'm not really gonna focus too much on the chorus right now. I wanna talk about the verse. You gotta jump in to swim. The light was dim in this life of sin. Every day I wake up and breathe. I don't have it all, but that's all right with me. Take it nice and easy, took a flight to see me. Send you back home with a light that's beaming. The whole team about to figure it out. We ice cold, that's winter. That's what winter is about. There's been a couple of references to ice cold and winter and, and that's that's what the winter made me, you know, cold in the veins and all this other stuff. I don't really know what he's getting there, but there you go. 
Sometimes I wish I took a simpler route instead of having demons as big as my house. Yeah. Have a ball with a dribble and a bounce because the party ain't over until they kick me out. We can make a lot of money, buy a lot of things, just to feel a lot of ugly. Great lines. Great lines, man. There's a song, uh, Queens of the Stone Age, if I had a tale. Buy flash cars, diamond rings, expensive holes to bury things. I was yay high and muddy looking for what was looking for me. But I don't need to lie no more. Nowadays, all I do is shine, take a breath, take a breath and ease my mind. And she don't cry no more. She tell me that I get her high because an angel's supposed to fly. And I ain't asking why no more. If I take it, I take it if it's mine. I don't stay inside the lines. It ain't 2009 no more. I wanted to read this annotation out loud because it's, well, it's not too long. 2009, Mac released his first two mic tapes. <clears throat> With 2009 being the last year before the release of his breakout mixtape Kids, Mac was unsure of what the future held. Okay, sure. Four studio albums later, Mac knows exactly what the game is all about. He also may be speaking on his personal drug addiction, and that's, I think, what he's talking about here. In 2009, he disregarded the dangers involved with certain substances. It's truly really heartbreaking to know he was aware before passing. Yeah. He knows, and that's what I take from that line. I know what's behind that door. Which is what makes it so sad. Makes it so sad. He knows. This whole album has been him saying it over and over again. Let's keep going. Yeah, they ask me what I'm smiling for. Well, because I've never been this high before. It's like I never felt alive before. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have me peace of mind than war. You see me and you, we ain't that different. I struck the fuck out and then I came back swinging. Even when it's 7.30 and the time is running low When your heart get cold See what's behind all them unturned stones And I'm a pro when it come to my job But really I'm just trying to start believing in God Now when it gets hard I don't panic, I don't sound the alarm Because I don't need to lie no more Nowadays all I do is shine Take a breath and ease my mind and she don't cry no more Tell me that I get her high Cause the angel's supposed to fly And it ain't 2009 no more Yeah, I know what's behind that door This, one, this one's hard this, one, this one's hard It's a beautiful song, but it's, it's hard This one's hard They ask me what I'm smiling for because I've never been this high before. It's like I never felt alive before. I'd rather have me peace of mind than war. You know, <clears throat> and I think that line right there is, is so, so important. Because what's he been talking about this whole time, right? He's lost in his thoughts. He's lost in his thoughts. And so he's doing these drugs to put out these thoughts, these anxieties that he has and He's gotten to a point where I'd rather have be peace of mind than war. I'd rather, I'd rather drown. I, if I, dr I'm swimming right now, but if I drown, I don't care. I mean, it's, I, it's almost a suicide letter, almost. And maybe I don't know. I hope, hopefully, people don't think I'm going too far with that. But, goddamn, dude, I, I'd rather have me peace of mind than war. I'd rather just be high, 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 high than deal. with with these things that are going on in my head. A life ain't a life till you live it. I was digging me a hole big enough to bury my soul. Weight of the world, I gotta carry my own, my own with these arms, I can carry you home. I'm right here when you're scared and alone. I'm, I'm trying to read lyrics. It's hard. It's hard. Right here when you're scared alone. I ain't never in a hurry. You ain't got to worry. 
Even when it's 7.30 and the time is running low, when your heart gets cold, see what's behind all them unturned stones. I'm a pro when it comes to my job, but really I'm just trying to start believing in God. Now when it gets hard, I don't panic. I don't sound the alarm. Fuck, man. All right, let's wrap this one up. Because the last track is called So It Goes, and I noticed that when I was pulling up the, the lyrics and stuff. So It Goes is a line from one of my favorite books of all time, Slaughterhouse-Five, written by Kurt Vonnegut. And in that story, anytime somebody dies, he, he puts So It Goes. It seems very fitting. God, this song's so beautiful, though. You know, it's, it's elegant. It's so simple and so clear. And it's elegant. I'm just going to let it roll into So It Goes, which is the closing track, track 13, produced by John Bryan and Mac Miller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. A line from Kurt Vonnegut's novel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I want to, anybody who has not read the book, Slaughterhouse Five, <laughs> fucking phenomenal book, read it. It's so fun to read. Like, it's not so much, the story is great in itself, but it's fun to read. The way he wrote that story is, is just great. It's great. But the, the way he says, so it goes, it's just, it's so passive. It's so just, yeah, yep, so it goes. So and so died, blah, 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 and then he died, yeah, so it goes. It's just, you got to read the story to really understand it, but hearing a song like 2009 that to me sounds like a suicide note and now we've got the closing track on the album called so it goes that's very much in my mind right now you could have the world in the palm of your hand you still might drop it and everybody want to reach inside your pockets i tell them red light stop it shit that give me more headaches than alcoholics there was nothing in my wallet just a lot of dreaming I build a crib on top of the promised land, we'll call it even. Okay, well, you can have the world in the palm of your hands, you still might drop it. And everybody wanna reach inside your pocket, so it goes. So it goes. It's like in every conversation, we the topic. This narcissism more like narcotics, so it goes. I have to applaud Mac Miller here because he, he captured it perfectly. So it goes. That's exactly how it is. It's just, yep. And that's how it is. That's how it is. So it goes. So it goes. Let's keep going. This is, this is cool. I want to hear the second chorus. I like the sound here. It's like space. I know I've been now. I know I've been now. You know, and it's even kind of spacey in the sense of in the book Slaughterhouse Five, it's about a man who becomes unstuck in time and he lives his life non sequentially and he'll just wake up at different points in his life. <laughs> and it's great. Um, but he also gets visited by these aliens from Tremalfador and they explain to him how you can just move around in time like anytime you want. And so they, and keep this in mind, this is really, I think this is kind of crucial. They don't understand why humans become so sad when people die because you can just go back to where they're alive and they're fine. Like, there's no reason to be sad. You just go back. And so all the parts that are sad, they just don't look at it. They just skip over it and they just stay in the parts that are happy. And that's a really interesting concept to fold into an album that I'm listening to from a guy who has passed away. Let's keep going. 
<laughs> Let's keep going. Half damn it, cross planets, interstellar, never land. Not a Jackson pack with action, so what's happening, my man? No relaxing, kicking back, just ain't exactly in the plan. I can't get no satisfaction, goddamn. They saying I've been gone too long. I could just tell them fuck you, but that come on too strong. My God, it go on and on. Just like a circle, like go back where I'm from. Every I think that's a line from uh, Rolling Stones. Looks like he's got some references to other people. You know, never land on a Jackson, packed with action. So uh, what's that? The Jackson 5, Michael Jackson. Oh, never. Oh, never land. Right, 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 right. I was thinking, uh, well, he was part of Jackson 5 too. Cross Planets, Interstellar, yeah, another reference to Slaughterhouse-Five. Yeah, because he meets with these aliens. <laughs> you guys got to read that book. Read that book. It is so fun. It's such a great book. It's one of my favorites. It's not, I don't think it's my absolute favorite, but it is absolutely probably at least top five, probably top three, honestly. Nine lives never die. Fuck, I have it. I'm still getting high. Never mind. Did I mention I'm fine? <laughs> So what's happening, my man? No relaxing, kicking back. This ain't exactly in the plan. I can't get no satisfaction. They saying I've been gone too long. I could just tell them fuck you, but that comes on too strong. My God, it goes on and on. Just like a circle, I go back where I'm from. Let's keep listening. Now I know I've been now. Now I know I've been now. Now I'm back in town. Now I'm back in town. Also in the book, there's a part where he's married and his wife tells him, you were gone again, weren't you? And he says, what? I can tell you were gone again. Like when he slips out of his body and he like teleports to a different point in time in his life, she can tell. And so I even think, I, it's been a little while since I've read the book. I've read it multiple times, but it's been a little while since I've read it. I even think there is a line where he says, yeah, but I'm back now. Like she's kind of giving him some shit for being gone, even though he has no control over this. Like he will just slip out. <laughs> it's, that's what's so cool about it. It's, he doesn't control when he's traveling around in his own life. It just happens. He has no control over it. But she's kind of giving him a hard time. And he says, yeah, but I'm back now. Show you the ropes. No. Okay. Well, there you go. There's my addition to these lyrics in terms of the, the story Slaughterhouse-Five. <laughs> I'm kind of laughing. Like, this is neat. Having a, one of my favorite books woven into a song a bit. Very spacey. You know, that, that last portion right there, it sounds like somebody leaving, right? Like getting on a spaceship and leaving. Cool track. Cool track. Huh. That was incredible. You know, I, I'm not even going to talk about 2009. I, I kind of almost... I. I was getting close to losing my shit there for a little bit, honestly. That was a hard one. That that very much oh shit. That very much felt like a, a suicide note. It did. Hmm. I'm just kinda of taking it all in right now. That was a lot. That was a lot to take in. You know, the music is so beautiful. And it's so chill. I mean, I feel like I could just put this on repeat for just days. I could just listen to Mac Miller for fucking days probably, man. And it's kind of funny because I just got off of The Life of Pablo. And I really enjoyed that album. And I listened to that one a lot. But this is such a different experience because Pablo, you're kind of all over the place, right? Where this one is very consistent throughout. It's 
It is, it is a, a continuous ride on a certain vein, and that's it. It's not jarring. I, I'm not going all over the place, and I'm not up, and I'm not down. And so it was. That was. It was kind of nice to to get that experience. And it's it's also nice to have something that's chill. Previous to Life of Pablo, I had Run the Jewels and One and Two, great albums, both great albums. But you know, loud and bangers and this and this. And so it's nice to have something that's mellow again because it's been. It's been a little while since I've had something super mellow. And this is super mellow. I'm going to play the fuck out of this album. <laughs> I mean, that's all there is to it. I am going to listen to this a lot. A lot. Um, it's, it is hard, though. Man. It is hard. And I can see why... There are huge Mac Miller fans out there. I can see why this album connects with people, man. I, because he does a, a great job of of putting these emotions out there, these feelings out there, so that you can share them and you can feel them with him and he can feel your feelings with you. And it's like there's somebody there with you going through this stuff. Um... And it's just vague enough to where it can reach a lot of people in that sense. But it's it's so sad. It's so sad because to me, all th this album is just filled with warning signs, cries for help, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. And I don't say that to to mean anybody should have done anything. I mean, you, I'm, I talk about suicide a little bit. When it comes to things like suicide, not that Mac Miller committed suicide, but with 2009 sounding like a suicide note and some of the things that he said in this album, I'm pretty much of the opinion that, okay, he was just going to ride this drug train till the end. So to me, it's, it's more of an inevitability that it happened, not a, uh, well, maybe it would not have, like, I don't, I think, I think it was just going to happen one way or the other. And you know, suicide in, in this country specifically, and I, I kind of, I don't know about the rest of the planet, but in this country, at least for Western civilizations, I suppose I could say it's such a taboo to talk about it. People always say, oh, you can't, you can't consider this. And it's, it's just downright bad. It's always bad. And I don't, I don't know. I don't always agree in the sense that when, when a person gets to that point, like at some point they cross a line. There's a, there's a threshold that exists and I, I kind of feel like once a certain person gets to a certain point, I don't, I don't know if they can come back. I don't know. Not to say that it's impossible, not to say that you shouldn't try, not to say any of those things, but you know, if somebody has it in their mind, I'm, I'm done. Because it really, that's, that's how I look at it in some situations. I'm done. It's not, a, it's not so much a, oh, I want to like, no, I'm just, I'm done. It's hard to it's hard to come back from that. And there are other situations too. Like I'm I'm a supporter believer of um, death with dignity. Like if you've got some sort of horrible terminal illness that cannot be cured, you're just gonna suffer. And you want to say, you know what? Peace out. There's no reason to endure that kind of end. I fully I'm fully into that. Like yeah, of course I would I would do that honestly. I don't know why I got onto that. I think mostly just 2009 is sitting with me. The fact that Mac Miller, you know, has passed everything that he said in the album. And really, I think what I'm trying to do is maybe speak to the fans that are sad that he is gone. And not that that makes it any easier, but, you know, huh. so it goes sometimes. So it goes. Sometimes we just, we get these amazing people and they come in and do amazing things and then they're gone. It's sad. It's sad. It's, it, it's, it's tough. Almost a three hour video. God damn. <laughs> this is, this is your guys' fault. You told me, yeah, Bob, open up, talk more. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Swimming. Beautiful, beautiful album. Beautiful. I mean, it's emotional. It's, I just got to soak in it for a while. It's going to be fun to talk about it again on Wednesday. It's beautiful though. Beautiful. I can see why this would win a poll. Oh, so favorite track. I think Wings is still my favorite. 
I was thinking for a moment there, maybe 2009 would overtake it because it's just, it's a beautiful song, but it's also really, really sad. It's that one's kind of hard to listen to. Wings, man. Wings. Holy shit. That song was phenomenal. I, that's my favorite. I'm going to go listen to it right now. I'm going to put it back on again. Good stuff. Powerful. Very powerful. All right. We'll see ya.